I would say that, you know, objectively, it's always best to begin with God. It's always best to begin with God. I believe that everyone believes in God. I believe that there actually are not really any atheists or, or, or agnostics. I actually believe that everyone does believe that God exists. I believe that naturally God has put it in the hearts of every individual, that they can't reject it, they can't really deny it. When they look in the mirror, when they look at the sky, when they look at the, 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 the evidence of creation, human beings know that God exists. But for those who want to pretend that he doesn't and want to act as if he doesn't and want to claim that he doesn't, I say still begin with him. Because at the end of the day, what converts people is not the way in which we evangelize, it's God who works in their hearts. But I would say objectively begin with God, begin with God, his standard, his character, who he is, what he demands. But I would also say that it sort of depends on the conversation. Um, you know, I'm engaged in, in conversations with non-Christians all the time, um, again, at restaurants or where I am in the community, at the gym and so on. And uh, it's fascinating to me. People are, 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 are incurib incurably religious. They, they, they are religious at the very core of their being. Even people who don't go to church, who are not a part of any organized religion, they are religious. We see it every Sunday. Clubs, communities, people coming together, being spiritual, being men or people of faith, whatever they are. So start wherever they are. In one sense, you can meet them where they are. If they're, if they're thinking about their children, if they're thinking about uh, their situation, they're worried about things, they have guilt, they feel the pressures and the anxieties of life, start there. But I would also say this. Engage in conversations with human beings in a genuine and authentic way because you actually care about them. Yes, you want to communicate the gospel to them. You want to proclaim the gospel to them. But communicate with them because you care about them. And that's one of the things we see Jesus doing in his ministry. We see the apostles doing that in their ministries. They have a love for people and a care for human beings. And their love for God exceeds all of that. And their wanting to glorify God exceeds all of that. But they actually do care about people and they engage with people because they care about them. They care about their souls. We evangelize people not so that we can tell our Christian friends that we've evangelized. We evangelize people for the glory of God and for the sake of the souls of those human beings.